Hey, this is Lucas Marquardt for the Thoroughbred Daily News. It is Tuesday, November 2nd. A number of Breeders' Cup hopefuls were on the track this morning, stretching their legs before this weekend's big event. Claire de Lune, who goes in the Philly and Mare Turf, was among those out. At the draw lunch later in the afternoon, she drew the two-hole for the $2 million race, Junior Alvarado Rods. Sprint candidate Smiling Tiger, coming off his second grade one win in the ancient title, drew post five. Bashida the J, another in the sprint, leads from the six hole. He breezed four furlongs Tuesday in 51 and three. Air support is eight to one on the morning line. For the grade two juvenile turf, he goes from post four. Trainer Brian Means' pair of Dangerous Midge and Mantoba were out. The former is 12 to one in the turf. Mantoba was given a five to one chance in the juvenile turf from post four. Wilcox in, making his turf debut in the juvenile turf. Looked good today. He drew well in post 7 as a 20-1 to outsider. Rough sailing, another in the juvie turf. Goes from the 11 hole. He's 15-1 to on the morning line. Kinsale King from our favorite trainer, Carl O'Callaghan, took in the action. He is 8-1 uh, in the sprint. Shared account is 30-1 to in the morning line for the Philly and Mare Distaff. Uh, I'm sorry, for uh, Philly and Mare Turf. And Havre de Gras, uh, making a very good impression on the track this morning, is 4-1 to for the Ladies Classic.